Another reminder today that parents need to talk to their children. A teenager is under arrest for making threats at a local school. They're being called a hoax. But joke or no joke, the student is learning a lesson the hard way that all children need to learn. Making threats that you are about to commit a crime, you'll be punished. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega is live in Coral Gables with more. Aralia. School officials are not saying what grade this student is in or the nature of the threat, but they say there is zero tolerance for it. A student at Coral Gable Senior High is facing some serious charges after school officials say he created fake Gmail accounts and used them to impersonate other students to threaten the school. Personally, I think it can, the kids' names that he's using to impersonate, it can ruin their chances. You know, like you never know, somebody might think that they caused all of this and it's just unnecessary trouble for innocent people. Well, it's an offense that should be penalized because there's no reason to do that. You're incriminating another student that doesn't deserve that. Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho says the arrested student will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. It's someone who is uh, carrying out a hoax, a non-credible threat, but basically passing on the responsibility onto his colleagues. And that's just not acceptable. The student was charged with a felony and arrested after an investigation this past weekend. I think it's good the, the way they handled the situation, uh, everything he got, like the felonies, everything, like just to show like you shouldn't play around with that. There could be other serious consequences for the arrested student. These hoaxes, these non-credible threats are felonies and they result in a lifelong uh, record uh, in a young person's, uh, you know, curriculum for life. They will not be able to go to law school, join law enforcement, join the armed forces. Superintendent Carvalho said the student is being removed from the school and he is being referred to an intervention program to get the counseling that is needed. Live in Coral Gables, Aralia Ortega, CBS 4 News at 7.